the starting point for the platform as to where we've come from takes me back to the consultations on the World Humanitarian Summit uh, in the lead up to the uh, Istanbul um, uh, summit, the New York declarations, and of course for us in Uganda here, after the New York declaration we had the Solidarity Summit and of course there's a lot of uh, preparations that culminate in the Gulu meeting and declaration. Um, in uh, 2017 we had a, a national dialogue for local actors in humanitarian response that uh, met in Gulu and it was from this meeting that uh, local actors realize the need to have a national platform for them as actors to, to strengthen their coordination efforts around uh, humanitarian uh, response and their, in, their role to influence uh, the humanitarian agenda in Uganda. So in the, at that very meeting in Gulu, the humanitarian, the concept of the humanitarian uh, platform was uh, uh, initiated. had to uh, find ways in which we can bring together local organizations so that they can play a part in the work uh, of humanitarian action. Uh, as we all know, the humanitarian action in Uganda is one where we have lots of participation of the international organizations, so the participation of local and the national actors is very important because these are usually the first responders or the organizations that stay on the ground. They are the ones that are there at the beginning when we have um, uh, either refugees or a disaster in any community. Oxfam spearheaded the formation of the platform as an international organization. The formation of the platform was basically to bring together a common voice for local and national humanitarian actors in Uganda. The local actors did not have space to operate in the responses that were happening both locally and the international responses like the South Sudan response. opportunities that the humanitarian platform through the localization agenda to address the issues of the localization agenda bring on board is the strong element of coordination of local actors because we had a very strong national international NGO presence and action and funding but the local actors were not part of the conversation and yet they're the first responders and actually usually the last whenever the crisis roles from a, to, into a recovery and development phase. So we feel that was a lost, that's always a lost opportunity in humanitarian responses when local actors are not even part of the conversation and the narrative. So there was a need to actually form a coordination platform which would help local actors only to understand but also to collaborate and coordinate. We're able to uh, share what we're doing. We're able to 
appreciate what others do through this platform, right from the region up to the national level. That platform has provided opportunity for capacity building for local actors in different areas. Already, the capacities were assessed and the gaps were identified, and one training has been organized by the platform uh, to enhance the capacities of local actors in the area of documentation. We are able to have a platform where we raise our voices, we know what local partners need, what they can do best. We are able to learn the best practices. When new policies come out, it is easy to know through the platform. The humanitarian platform actually provides an avenue for us to know what we have not known, the in issues happening, current issues happening, where we need to step in, where we need to learn from. Provides us this opportunity of documenting our stories through the newsletter. It makes calls for organizations to write what they do through collecting uh, success stories from the field that the national platform then documents and publishes through the month, uh, the, the newsletter that it produces. It also gives us a platform to engage the different stakeholders more structurally on issues and if there are specific asks we know exactly what those asks are and we can be very clear about it. So to me that is really the opportunity the platform gives me as um, the head of uh, a local organization, national organization and to know that I belong to a wider audience where these issues are shared. I recommend strongly that the issue of the plat uh, ownership right from the region up to the national one should be critical looked into and everybody should be interested to, to have a, a stake into it, it being a political arm, it being a technical arm. Even us who are in the civil society arena should be able to find a way how we can uh, contribute to the sustainability of this platform. There's need for the platform to create a pool funding so that donors can direct or channel their funds to this uh, pool fund. And when there's an emergency, then it can be activated for local actors to respond. We could have now an annual plan of key events. When should they be? So that also us local partners can plan to participate in such events and to organize and see how we can strengthen ourselves and continue. One of the things that we would recommend for the platform to, 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 to cherish or to practice is uh, an annual information sharing gathering where all these different players are given a chance to, 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 to come together. There is a lot of relevance in the platform it will depend on what the members wish to do, but they need also to engage more beyond just uh, having a few people at the secretariat. The members of the platform must be willing to engage with the processes that are, are happening and not only wait for the time when uh, people have probably uh, communicated on this. Now that we have the humanitarian platform, which is just at our fingertips, every time you need it on WhatsApp, you can get on internet, you can get. One good thing they could do is to have, to be the mother of humanitarian information data that is available at just a click. And that would happen if they can have a very good database information. I look forward to the platform uh, bringing all the members who are in the humanitarian uh, response, both preparedness and response, to agree on a journey. But it will take honest decisions, honest discussions, uh, reflections. As the humanitarian platform, we will continue to ensure that there is coordination among local and national humanitarian actors adequate information is shared and actors have the ability to influence the humanitarian agenda at all levels. As government, we want to 
continue to offer our good working relationship with you and even do our best to see that uh, you, you regularize your platform. You regularize your platform uh, in either under a memorandum of understanding with government, clearly showing your, your scope of work, your engagements, your communication strategy, you know, and outreaches so that you, you continue to come out with that one voice, especially as first responders in these different humanitarian uh, incidents.